This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. I have been here. The Grey Goose. Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. Inspector Ford's raid on Marmon Flats proved useless. There was no background. But later, Barbara and I found on examining the penthouse a passage leading to the next block, and there we discovered the Baccarat School. We, um, we met a little obstruction here and there, but, um, <clears throat> a little commando tactics remedied that. Here we explored and found an inner office, and gazing through the fanlight, we found four men busy breaking up jewellery and extracting the stones. I thought it a good idea to phone Ben Ford that we'd found his back at our school, but of course, I didn't mention the inner office and the diamonds. Oh, dear no. Short enough, Ford arrived for the second raid, and Barbara and myself, mixing in the panicky crowd, got pinched, and thus we found ourselves, with about 40 others, in the police station. Uh, I say, look, Ben, uh, Miss Fabisham and I only just hopped into that place, and as I reminded you just now, you did say, living as I do so near, you'd appreciate me keeping an eye on the joint. Well, I know I did, but, but you've been no help, Fletcher. It wasn't even you who tipped us off as to where the back of our joint was. <laughs> now, that would have been a feather in my cap, wouldn't it? Oh, confounded, don't mention feathers. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Saw subject and all that. As a matter of fact, it was my fine feathered friend who rang the yard. Hmm, doesn't like back of our at all, I'd say. So oh, confounded, anyway. Look, I won't press this matter. You and your lady friend hop it. Quick. I'll divert the chance out of this attention. Now's your chance. I don't think I like that, Roly. Being pinched? <laughs> My dear, all the best people indulge in it from time to time. Baccarat is a very costly and fascinating pastime. Come on, Wench. Let's get a move on. I'm bursting with ideas. What about? Diamonds, Holland, Amsterdam, and something for the larder. Oh. How would you like a pair of lovely diamonds for those very nice ears? I'd love them. You're going to have them, too. Listen, let those self-same ears flap their hardest. Did you overhear any of those men we were watching through the fanlight? No, I didn't hear a word. I did. Very little, I'll admit, but sufficient to get me in properly. What did you hear? Roughly, Hook of Holland, 7 o'clock steam packet, Amsterdam, and diamonds. What on earth does that mean? It means my pet, as I see it. Those diamonds are destined for Amsterdam. It's well past seven o'clock now, so maybe it's seven o'clock tomorrow night. The steam packet leaves Harwich every night at seven for the Hook of Holland. I begin to see, I think. One of those laddies is going to take those diamonds to Amsterdam. And so what? So what? I shall go with him, if my guess is right. But where does the mystery of the Homburg hats fit in? Oh, that's easy. Old Nathan Forbes very seldom goes out. But the house porter at Marmon Flats doesn't know that because a constant stream of traffic in Homburgs goes in and out. So anyone asking for our friend is told, um, oh, just saw him go out, sir, or worse to that effect. Thus the old gentleman gets quite a reputation for a busy and energetic specimen. A very clever idea. More clever than you think, my dear. Because the men under those hats are the men who pinch the sparklers. Thus we saw the little operation in action tonight. Baccarat? Oh, yes. But that baccarat smells to high heaven of red herrings. Well, here we are. So hop up to your flat. I'm going to find myself a nice piece of shut-eye before I catch the Harwich packet at 7 p.m. I think I ought to come with you. Wait on. Yes, that might be an idea. Yes, there may be two of them travelling. All right, then. Get down to Harwich under your own steam. Board the packet and just remember, you've never seen me in your life before. Uh, when do we get underway, sailor? You're not more than a minute now, sir. Gangway's just being cast off. Hmm. Slow trip, I'm afraid. Yes, sir. Uh, fog everywhere. Dirty night. Fog may be useful. Yes, I think so. 
wonder where I can find Barbara in this murk. Off, I think. <laughs> Darn cold up here, too. Haven't sighted one Homburg yet. Ooh, I had. Supposing they changed to bowlers or caps. Oof, vanish the thought. Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry, madam. <laughs> A very clumsy of me. Uh, please don't apologize. It's this fearful fog. In Homburg? Yes, uh, not a very pleasant crossing, I'm afraid. No, but one thing about a fog, the sea is generally calm. There's one each in the saloon downstairs. Only one? <laughs> you say that as if, uh, as if you didn't like a little movement. Bad sailor, what? I certainly do not like a choppy sea. Get along the side of him. I'll drift down in a moment. I think I'll get down below. It's warmer there. Right. I'll just take a few more turns up here. I might follow your example in a few minutes. May see you then. Yes. Smart girl. Hello. That's surely a Homburg I see. My hat. If there's still one in the saloon, then there are two on the ship at least. I wonder which is the boy that's carrying what I'm after. Well, here goes. Evening, sir. Not a very pleasant night, is it? Hmm? Not bad. Oh! oh. <coughs> Beg your pardon. I'm terribly sorry. The deck's very slippery. Oh, sorry to grab you like that. I thought I was going overboard. Mm, it's quite all right. I think I'll go below where it's warmer. Good night, and sorry to be a nuisance. Nothing up his sleeve. He's carrying no jewel case or belt full of diamonds. Try Homburg number two in saloon. Hope Barbara's got him tamed. Uh-uh. Number two is here. And there's Barbara alongside. Good going. So, you decided to come down after all? Yes, indeed, madam. Very damp and nasty up topside. I feel I should invite you to have a drink in view of the fact that I almost knocked you down up there. Oh, thank you, no. This gentleman was so kind. Give for one with me, sir. Oh, jolly nice of you. If you'll let me return the gesture. Maybe later. Whiskey, soda. Thanks. Both, please. Steward, whiskey, soda. Well, thanks. And here's hoping. Hmm. Good health. Excuse me now, will you? I um, want to see what they've done with my suitcase. Right. But you'll be back for that other eye, won't you? Yes. A few moments. Keep it low, but laugh now and then. I'm telling you a funny story, see? Check. There are two. Just left one on deck. I wonder where this one went. <laughs> Up on deck, I swear. And I'm prepared to guess that number one will come down and your pal will stay on deck. Playing twins, eh? That's the idea. And they'll never be seen both at the same time. <laughs> Makes it very awkward. Can't tell t'other from which. One thing I do know, the man up on deck isn't carrying a thing that would hold a wad of diamonds. This one is, I'm certain. He keeps putting his hand in the breast pocket of his overcoat. And that is definitely bulky. Good. Hello, here's number two coming back as prophesied. No, that's not number two, that's number one. Your friend from up top. <gasps> How the deuce do you know? <laughs> For a moment he had his back to us. Well, it was clean. Oh, he does bathe then. <laughs> when number two brought me that drink, I powdered my nose, managed to dab my puff on his shoulder. Your man has a clean coat. I doff my lid here, <laughs> I'll be glad of that drink now, if you're still of the same opinion. Hey, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Whiskey and soda, wasn't it, last time? Hmm, that's right. Whiskey and soda, Stuart. Hmm, luck. <clears throat> well, think I shall turn in for an hour or so? We don't get in till dawn. See you later. Yes, of course. Oh, excuse me, madam. I'm just going to check our time of arrival with the purser. Must find out what birth or he they have got. Ah, there's friend Homburg, one down the corridor. His cabin door, obviously. Now to find the exact location and number. Ah, immediately above the port ventilator shaft. Easy. Oh, there you are. Did you find out what time we get in? Yes, about 7 a.m. About a 12-hour trip in this fog. Uh, talking of fogs, uh, 
Don't you find this saloon a little stuffy and smoky? Uh, yes, I do. I was just thinking of taking a stroll up on deck. By Jove, a good idea. I'll come too, if I may. A pleasure. Here we are. Let's get to the port side. Near that ventilator. I was right with my powder puff. And there was good proof, too, that they changed places. Proof? Yes. When you said whiskey and soda, same as last time, your man said yes. My man drank brandy and soda. I gained off my lid, Barbara. Now, I found out which cabin they occupy. I think they share a berth. I suppose so. It's immediately under our feet. This ventilator opens in the corridor alongside. Now, look overboard and down. You see a glimmer of light? That's a porthole. Exactly, there's. And I'm going to have a look through it. Well, impossible. Not a bit of it. Remember my piano wire? Here it is. Yards of it round my waist. I just hitch this end over the taffrail and lower myself till I can get a good view. Remember how I lowered you to the ground on that same wire? Yes, and I was certain it would break. <laughs> Not a bit of it. Well, here I go, over the side. You stay here and sort of screen the wire in case anybody comes along. Rolly, you all right? Yes, okay. Keep quiet. You don't want to be heard by the watch. There you are, miss. Oh. Sorry to startle you. I, I didn't see you in the dark. Went back to the saloon a while back, found you'd left. Steward said you came on deck. I was thinking you might like a nightcap before turning in. Oh, it's very good of you, but I left the saloon because it was so hot and stuffy. I prefer it up here. Mm, strange tastes people have, don't they? I don't quite understand. I'll explain in a moment. By the way, where's the gentleman friend? Oh, he wasn't a friend. An acquaintance I met on the ship. Somehow I don't believe you. There's something I want to find out. I'm sure Be quiet. I... If you don't like drinking in the saloon, we're going to my cabin and we'll have one there. Oh, Start you. walking. This is a gun. My cabin is at the end of the corridor, port side of the saloon. Now walk. Help! 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 This adventure is not going very happily at this stage. But wait for more action by Roland Fletcher, alias The Grey Goose. Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.